Hi everyone, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions and this is another video in my series of how to build your own courses in Canvas. I've had a request from one of my graduate uh, instructional design students to show how you can actually issue e-badges in Canvas, how you can integrate them. Um, E-badges are an excellent tool for uh, gamifying your learning process in online learning. And it's actually quite easy to integrate them using a number of different tools that uh, Canvas has readily available, uh, third-party apps that you can integrate. And I like to actually use the Badger app. So I'm going to demonstrate how to add an e-badge into my sample pilot course here and how to set it up so that it can be awarded to students when they earn certain criteria. So the first thing that I need to actually do is connect the Badger app to my course. And you can do that under settings and go down to your apps list under settings. You can see all of the apps that are here. I'll check my installed ones. As you can see, I've only got Twitter installed right now. So I want to install the Badger app. So I'm just going to look for Badger here. And you can see there are a bunch of different uh, badge um, apps that are available, a credible badge stack. I'm going to use Badger Canada because that is where I have my Badger account set up. And once it brings me here, I will just click on Add App. As you can see, it's asking me for my credentials, my uh, consumer key and my shared secret. I can get that from my actual Badger app. Uh, I'm logged into Badger here under my Power Learning Solutions issuer account. And if I click on this here, I get uh, all of the details about my app and all the e-badges that I have available to award. So I can get the info that Canvas is looking for under my account profile. I just click on this icon up here. I see app integrations is one of the options. I click on that and I click on Canvas uh, LTI. There's also Badger for Canvas, uh, Badger UI. So I'm going to click on uh, Canvas LTI here and you can see it gives me my consumer key and my shared secret. So I'll start with the consumer key. I just click copy, come back over to Canvas and pass that in here. And now I will grab the shared secret, copy that paste that in here, and I click on Add the App. You'll see that Badger is now actually listed here as one of the apps that I have installed. The next step is to actually configure something that uh, I want my students to complete in order to qualify for an e-badge. And uh, I can do that under my Modules area. You'll see I have some sample modules here already. In this case, it is only the week four pilot is the only one available. And the way to set this up so that you can actually get issued an e-badge is to set some completion criteria first for this module. So the completion criteria that I want is to use this digital accessibility basics quiz that I have here. It's worth three points. And I want my, uh, my students to score three out of three in order to be issued the badge. So I'm going to edit this module and uh, click on the edit link here and I will add a requirement. And in this case, students must complete all of the requirements. The requirement is that they have to complete the digital accessibility basics quiz and score at least three out of three. I will update my module and you'll notice that it now adds complete all items here. Uh, so students must complete that quiz, which is the only item that I linked as a, as a requirement in order to mark this module as complete and get their e-badge. You'll notice over here, Canvas has now added badges as one of the links on the sidebar. If you want to move where that's located, you don't like it way down here, you can easily do that. Just go into your settings, click on your navigation, and you can drag e-badges wherever you want it. So I'm going to put that right up here under assignments, where it's easy to find. It makes sense to have it by assignments. And then I'll just hit save. 
Now to edit my requirements so that students can actually get the e-badge that I want, I click on badges here. And you will see that uh, the uh, issuer is listed here. This is my account that I just linked. So I select this issuer and it's going to bring me up a list of anything that I can assign uh, an e-badge to. You can see that it's got module completion requirements for each module. Module four here is the module that I want to add this requirement to uh, to get the e-badge. I can click on this and it gives me a list of all of the e-badges that I have available. Now I can click on the create new badge here if I want, but I'm actually going to go back to my Badger account. And I will click on my issuer here and I'm going to create a new badge. I have an image already stored, so I'll create that badge and give it a name. So here is my image. This is the Digital Accessibility Basics eBadge. And I will give it a short description. And I can give uh, more criteria down here as well. So completion of the Digital Accessibility Basics quiz in Module 4. I'll create this badge. It has now been added to my list of badges here. You can see that's available. I come back into my course and now I'm going to just hit refresh here so that it refreshes the list of uh, e-badges that I have available. I go down to the week four pilot module and hit the drop down. It lists all of the badges that I have here. They're listed in the order that I created them. So if I scroll to the end, I can see my digital accessibility basics e-badge. And that's all there is to assigning an e-badge to uh, the completion of a module.